Hey everyone, welcome back to Dynamics 365 Universe, your go-to channel for everything Dynamics 365. Today, we're diving into one of the most fundamental concepts for developers and technical consultants in D365 Finance and Operations, the Application Object Tree, or simply, AOT. What is AOT? The Application Object Tree is the core development repository in D365 FO. Think of it as the brain of the system, it stores every object used to build and customize the application, tables, classes, forms, data entities, enums, you name it. It's presented as a hierarchical tree structure, making it super easy to navigate, explore, and edit various elements. To open it, go to the top menu in Visual Studio, view, application explorer, or simply press Ctrl plus E. There are two primary views in AOT, classic view and model view. In classic view, all elements from every model are grouped by type. This is how it was in Axe 2012. In model view, elements are grouped by their model, great when you're working on specific customizations. You can right-click on the AOT node and toggle between the views anytime. Right-clicking on any element opens a world of options. Here are some of the most common and useful actions. View Designer, Shift plus F7, opens the Element Designer. View Code, F7 opens the X++ code editor. Add to project. Adds the element to your current or a new project. Create extension. This is the preferred method to customize standard elements. It creates an extension that lives safely in your custom model. Find all references. See where the element is being used across the system. Properties. View or edit the element's property settings. Special commands for some elements. Some elements like tables have unique commands such as view hierarchy. Visualize table inheritance or extension structure. Open table browser. Instantly view the data in that table inside the browser. Need to find something quickly in the AOT? Just use the search bar at the top. You can refine your search using filters such as type, name, extension point, model, modified date. This makes finding specific elements quick and easy. Want to go deeper? Check out the official Microsoft documentation linked in the description below. And that's your crash course on the application object tree in Dynamics 365. If you're starting your technical journey in D365FO, mastering the AOT is a must. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you never miss an update from Dynamics 365 Universe.